Morning everyone, welcome to the stream. How are we all doing today? So that is a very cool way of starting off the stream. I I really been a fan of that um that Smash remix of the mysterious Murasame Castle medley. It's my favourite Smash remix, um, but they're all great, let's face it. I can say that about every single one. Anyway, today we are going to be playing um the uh so apparently there's a new um pokemon game that just came out and it seems like uh a lot of people on twitch including myself are going to be playing it today um so uh i'm really interested in this it's a going to be a bold new take on um pokemon um it's developed by game freak themselves um uh it's set 100 or so maybe even more before the events time in the pearl um and i'm looking forward to it um so let's make a start Uh, choose your language. I've had to start from this because I'm pretty not sure if there's going to be a. It's going to go straight into the opening because sometimes they do. But I right, what's this? Welcome to my realm, located be beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. This is very Zelda-like. Let's take appearance. What is thy name? Um, we are gonna go for... Obviously. Base cadet. All this correct as it should be. Sure. It's base cadet. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. This is a really interesting different way of doing this. Base cadets. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Is this whole thing a dream? Or a... Cool. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yep, that is certainly the name of the game. Wake up! Oh, don't wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my boy? Ooh, just notice the, the borders around the screen. Sorry about that, I might just... Can, can fix that, I think. No, I can't, sorry. You gave me quite a shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Um, where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow add all your memory? Such strange clothes, too. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You would happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? 
I doubt that. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. I do offer some directions. Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? Uh, mm, I don't know. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know how to, where to spend the night. Well, this is proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you would survive? Somehow, I guess. There's a very foreboding storm cloud in the background. I see. Well, no gentleman will ban abandon a person in such need. Grrr. Boom. Clish plash. <laughs> oh my, I completely forgot. I had forgotten. I had just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. Wait, we win what now? It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but did you even know where the Pokemon is? Of course I do. This isn't my first run here. My, that's a relief. Although you fell from the sky, it seems like we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Space Cadet. The name is quite the ring to it. I mean, it must have some lovely meaning. Sure. Oh, and I do apologise, I haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. As I say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here, which... Wow, rude. Oh, blast and bomb my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but you, do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait. Ooh, cool. So it looks like we're back to the old, to how Sword and Shield kind of controls. So it's the open world and free camera, which is cool. Let's just go this way. If you press up on the D-pad, then that's our bag. Interesting. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, just before we really make a start, is I'm going to have to adjust the... Um, so you've got that board around. It means I've got to go... I had it adjusted for something else, so I'm just gonna because it's just gonna annoy me if I don't fix that. That's better. So we've got to go to that glowing marker. I can go in here, which means that's no cool, 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 cool. Can dash we hold down. There's a glowing beeping ob object over there. Investigate. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So, yes, that's what we're going to be doing. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but they're not the best at the sort of thing you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit more about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. It's also very round. That one over there is Cyndaquil. When the fire burning Cyndaquil's back will f the fire burning Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. And it's also the best one. A Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott gnats while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like objects in its belly. And he is also here. Nah, Oshawott's cool. I like Oshawott. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. 
Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. I mean. The mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already these the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon, and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you're, you've caught a Pokemon. I know I've just met, but I'm afraid that I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you catch the I-3 Runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Although far be it from me to say so, I suppose, give my own die lack of skill in this area. Pokemon are caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR Pokemon to, button to rear a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully to target your Pokemon. Press the ZR button to release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you raid the Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. So. I want to get Cyndaquil, so we need to. That. That's cool, that's cool animation. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. Seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, basically. Surely you still scold to have around here. Only two of my Darkling Runaways left now. So this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. So I'm guessing we're probably supposed to be the protagonist from Diamond and Pearl, just travel back in time. They believe it's basically that. Incredible! You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up this sharpest, shall we? Right, let's go catch a route. Should we try and do this stealthily, actually? If we can do it without him noticing us. Nope, that didn't work. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it enough of a little boy. Oh, where did we go? Thank you very much indeed. Well, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village. It should help with our research. They won't listen to anyone yet. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Space that I was taken aback at how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon seriously when you've only just arrived here? Just mad skills, I guess. One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and there. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What odd device? Could it be guiding you somehow? Indulge you for a moment. There's something I'd like to share with you. See, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalogue a Pokedex. Yes, a Purple Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And usually how it works. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Even you, enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say, boy? Should we help one out? Well, another out, my boy. Hmm. Well, uh. Let's <laughs> see what he said. Well, I'm now, what do you say? Should we have one out of that route? 
Then whoever and from where then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll start at your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and then beyond all that. Follow up, follow me out then. Onward to Jubilee Village. Hello. It's like a rip in space time. Considering Arcus has got the time and space, that, um. Ah, it's probably a coincidence. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance being my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. Very quaint. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Exhibition Expedition Team. Mm hmm. Never seen a child like that before. That's quite the outfit there. Where'd you come from? This village was built scarcely two years ago. There's not much to do yet, and not mainly to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to step foot outside the village. This is cool. I like this actually quite a lot. It's going to get so many comparisons to Breath of the Wild and Zelda, but this is very Zelda. Oh, botheration, I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Past this bridge here, to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Cyclarian Weezing Chimney. Your arc wings beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Use the minus button to use the view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance in your next destination to your next destination information your missions and requests. You will see guidance markers where you're exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all the directions. Just try and stop, spot one of those markers. Then head for it. Oh. Blech. Sorry, I just they gas there for some reason. Um, let's head to the wallflower. Is that mustache or a bit of tape? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk Only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Uh, but I want a drink. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What well, if you're attacked by Pokemon? You'd be minced meat you'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, so it makes me a bit worried for him. So as I hide one to talk, I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Fortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! Everybody quite alright now. Let's face it, here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Face. <laughs> Jeez. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Sidelene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Sidelene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the Captain of the team Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Sidelene. Professor Lamington has told me about how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems you would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labour. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. 
quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm pretty sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I've already learned I might appreciate my meals without distraction. So, oh, very, very stiff late. A roof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mocky, if you please, but make it for free today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mocky never failed to please. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Uh, well, you know that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift? You know, just casually. <laughs> the one people call uh, our new friend fell right up to it. You can't be serious. <laughs> Come on now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain in any, any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only the facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokémon here in Hisu region. Hisui. That there are, in the grass, in forest, by water, or wherever they like. And it's our job as a survey corps to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. It has all been impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Space Cadet will come in. He successfully caught three Pokémon. Three of them in quick call, do you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. That means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest. Free? We only have, we have a hard enough time catching one more Pokémon come after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokémon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokémon is getting close enough to aim your Pokémon well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to just do that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying such a lovely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rain in good captain stress eating long enough. Sooner. Now have your fill space cadet. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Space Cadet has a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Space Cadet's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Space Cadet, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Which one's there? Ah, that one. If you fail to pass the trial we put, on we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Sally is some, uh, somewhat like Kisui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall, fall out of the feet as long as we sleep in here. Imagine their new friends is enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. I'd be pulling out from it. The world is full of mysteries. Head to the survey core quarters. That you've been assigned. Alright, let's go get some shut eye. Investigates. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It's the lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Smart. 
nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Saw this. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Sui region. To read them all at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips to team members, don't wish your tutorials to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Here at progress, press the up button to open the menu and scroll with ZL, ZL and ZL until you reach the save screen. There is also an auto save function you can help use to have your progress saved automatically. Rest until tomorrow morning. Could they be doof? Oh, it's a good fire display. Oh, that's not good. The next day. Good morning, Smith Skillet. You up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. Investigate. It's just like you could store lots and lots of items in it. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. I kind of just want to wander around for a minute, actually. Probably... Um, Wallflower, Craftworks, Clovia, Hairdresser. I was to ask some customization options. Interesting. Through the general store. So we probably can't buy anything. Now, who might you be? I've never seen you before. Seen you in the village before. Can't get anything yet. You can throw spores, apricots, at wild Pokemon to make them drop up the defenses. Then they'll be easy to catch. It's a very safari zone. That idea. I wish that was the inspiration here. Um. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hun. Where, they, where, where might they be from? This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too. You came here anyway. How come? I don't know. Boredom. I wonder if there's anyone capable of catch, no, catching enough Pokemon to fill up the pastures here. Nope. But I know people are going to complain about the graphics because it's nothing special graphically, but I kind of quite like how this looks. I don't know, it's smoogie. Pokemon to terrify me, even going out to gather berries is the worst. I'm guessing we can't leave. Whoa, there, it's changed to be on beyond these gates. You should stay inside the village. Street. Oh, because it's reference to Flora Roma. It's Ben Egan's. They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my soot foot roots to make my potato mucky tasty. And then, looking for someone? Nah, just hanging around. Training grounds. Survey cops office are here on the, on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere, attacking all sides. 
They sent out my path at the home, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. Bad plans with the security corps, even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Wild po po partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Sileen, space cadet here. You may enter. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian, Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. The professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Your eyebrow just floating in the background. The Galaxy team does not have a means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to say, stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'd be an asset to our courts. I mean, we've only really just met this character, but her having an eyebrow just makes perfect sense. She's a very, um, cerebral. I will lend you one of our survey called Satchel. The Satchel to carry whatever you made in the field. Such as exactly match your uh, mode of dress. I can't wait. I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Galaxy Stream's entry trial. Press the Y button when consulting the map on your app phone, and you can check the task you have waiting. There are two types of missions missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress your adventure, where requests are optional and given by the people you meet. Pardon, Space Cadet. Can we be a moment? Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lavington? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Space Cadet must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, a choice of friends. Crew, Foom, and Plishbash. Yeah. Classic Osho World. Go on, Space Cadet. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off more Pokemon outside the village. These darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Um, well, as a big Gen 2 fan, it's gonna be Cyndaquil. Foom, do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes, I do. I have no idea if that's gonna make any difference to the difficulty or going forward, but... And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at the Prelude Beach will now be yours to be yours to keep. Good show. I've ducked in the crawl back inside its Pokemon for you, so take it, it's yours. You receive Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones can hear Pokemon which when you're out in the field. Cuckoo. Flash. They look as though they're cherrying on their seven Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That well could be. It did go from dashing in the village when space cadet fell out of the sky. After all. Well, not to worry you two. I'll have, I'll have you assist with me in my research for now. By the by, what species is Captain Sileen in charge of catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during the trial, then. You obtained 20 Pokeballs. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the virtue of the trial, turn left at your after your exit headquarters, and head for the gate. So... When they said you need to pay attention to what Pokemon, what Pokeballs have Pokemon in. Ah, okay. 
So you press X to swap between empty Pokeballs and Pokeballs with Pokemon. I wonder if that means we can carry more than six, maybe? Huh, I wonder that would be interesting if they've done that. Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can really tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginku Guild, the go-to choice for any of the mercantile needs here in history. So you coincidentally look a bit like Link. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, did you? Then that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've, you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd novel uh, is key to any good merchant success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sure, why not? I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about the trial you have returned. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Although I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Ginkgo Guild member Volo returns you to a battle. Okay, so Togepi is normal and fairy, so fire versus normal. That's an interesting first matchup. I guess the idea is supposed to be neutral, right? Oh, this is really cool. Um, UI, I really like this. Oh, we can play around as well. That's neat. And there's a Diamond and Pearl Battle Remix. Interesting. Well, I guess the idea is we can also we can run around because we can also fight and catch Pokemon at the same time. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. You move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon to battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon use in the battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and slightly change the moves. Oh, okay, so we can change moves on the fly. That's going to be interesting. So few Pokemon here have their own Pokemon. If only knew, more knew how to use Pokeballs. Anyway, let me help out. Let me help out to battle as a recovery from little exercise. And to you, my Skyform friend, I present some potions. Thanks. Topical medicine you meant to apply to a Pokemon. It can restore 68 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use some on your Pokemon whenever they've given up with one out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilife City, make sure you choose the destination from your map and tell the rest of the guards where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. The trial begins just a short way past that front gate. You're Space Cadet, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try to. Okay. Should we say Fieldlands Camp? So it's not. So it's not gonna be fully open world, it's gonna be section, segments. I wonder how big those segments are gonna be. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch these three catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Sailene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. Oh, I hope, how can you get off right here, Professor? 
To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Space Cadet's talents are the real deal. They'll pass to flying colours. You'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, across Space Cadet, we're fine. Let's begin the trial. Catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you need for a trial. This is Aspiration Hill. The species Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Blah blah blah, breath of the wild, etc. etc. And along comes a bit of. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice, I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down ZL to focus on the wild Pokemon, keeping your sights as long as it's nearby. It's then you can very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof has a mild disposition. That means it tends to not run from people. So this will be easy. God, I should get over there so fast. Right. So. Locked on. Hold R to aim. And then that goes pro. I don't mean to make comparisons, but this would be really cool if would like PS if this had the PS5 dual sense and the haptic feedback and the adapt triggers, that'd be really cool. You've got the bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Spoiled Apricorn. Catch a star lady, your second Pokemon species in control. There's a Starly. Let's get you to little things. I'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be hard to spot. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same, bu same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouch low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Be so we're too far to um to catch it from here. Boom. That's Dali caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I forgot, it's okay what to teach you, since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Sailing tells us, have an item at the ready but you want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but you want to throw out an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Yeah, sounds it. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at the rocks, or the trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or items, it will bring them to you. Now it's, now it's time for your partners to shine. You reach your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. So... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Neat. We're on berries. Um... You just switch over. So, what do those? I guess those kind of distract Pokemon or make them easier to catch. I think that was probably explained earlier, and I forgot already. There, that's Shinx. Boom. Shinx is an aggressive disposition. Could you really tell that? Not at all. Not to worry, these things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Oh, she's already felt with Ash yet. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll not excite any ball you throw at them. When you use those AL buttons to focus on the Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see poking above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Okay. 
Right. The next icon will appear if a Pokemon that above Pokemon is fixed fight for you. Be one Pokemon space icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed in battling, you can throw a Pokemon at them to catch them. By now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon if you want to battle. Ah, okay. If you want doubt, you'll hold your own in battle. I had a feeling that was going to be the case. It's easy to start a, wild po a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. And if you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will make you a toggle between your offering item and your Pokemon team. Um. Right, so um, let's switch to s no to be doof and fight. Jinx is looking around. Um, if we use roll out once more, because that should get more powerful each time if it's. Okay, it went that way. You can fix it using rollout. She's is looking around. So if we switch, can we? Okay, so it's like classic Pokemon at this point. That's it, you caught Shinx. You approach this Pokemon without a hint of fear and call each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. For you outside, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why I know if you came forward in the sky like you did, but for now let's tell the press where we head back. Yeah, it's um... Interesting mechanics at play here. Oh, I said you passed the trial of flying colours, and it seems you went to just did just that. Congratulations, Space Cadet. You're taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. This goes like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you caught to live in the wild, uh, live in the village pastures. You can bring up six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Although we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Until now. Come now, you two. Let's not deal down it. Captain Sagan awaits our reports at headquarters. I bet Captain Sagan will be very pleased. Have a wonder actually. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's Commander Commando. Commando. You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, Mr. Kid. Oh yeah, apologies if I butcher any names here. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Seems you won't have to leave you to die after all. Gosh, she seems almost disappointed. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can now hold on. To, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I've set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours. The official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received the Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, and then you report to report at once on the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. All 
right. I did almost forget where we left. Change outfits. Do you want to change? Time to put on your survey call uniform and your survey call sandals. Cool. Oh yeah, it's very much like Sword and Shield's um Cool, there's different like eye colour options here at the moment. Um Mess about, see what options we have here. Oh, let's get red eyes, that'd be cool. Let's do that. And there's no other options available just at the moment, is there? Yes. There's some funky sandals. Should I just have a cool uniform? Look how well a survey cool uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had to hate it just for you. Hmm. What a coincidence. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. It's a flat cap. He's a member of the Beaky Blinders. Now present yourself to the commander. Brought to Commander Kamadu. Kamadu in his office on the third floor of Galaxy Hall. No, we're on the second floor. I'm guessing he's supposed to be a great, great ancestor of Rowan, right? I've been waiting for you. Kamado, great commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Space Cadet? Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Uh. Charge at him? I don't think we can throw him. Ha! Huh. Mm, you've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell out right out of the blue. The superstitious among us may see your arrival as a portent for disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how old you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Space Cadets. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Mission complete. Mission complete. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit amongst our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well and as a member of the survey corps, you will move up the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the protects, the higher your rank will become. And working on the protects will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here. Here, you will need this. 
You retained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. It's one apricot and one tumble stone. And 3,000 Pokemon as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach on your recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Sayo. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think about what think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Like the band. Are we going to mess around with some synthesizers? Well done for earning a place on our team. My name is Amphi, I'm the local clothier. Friends asked that I get a ready or a change of clothes, so here I here you go. I do hope they fit. But they just asked us to on the uniform whatever. You receive an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself at one of the religious humble shops. Let's wait to the craft works basically that. You can use a workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village. And ask Clive you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is the best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Crafting items. You can use the workbenches in Jubilife Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Um, how many can... okay, so we can make 20. You made 20 Pokeballs. I think we must put them in your satchel. I Oh, if for some reason I had it in my head, there might have been some kind of minigame that I wanted to craft. Kind of glad that's not the case, though. Whoa, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the old power to shrink themselves down. If the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in their Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received the Pokedex. A volume for compiled and collected results of much Pokemon research. Press the button to continue and add to, do it, add to it with each report made in new Pokemon species. Scenes I haven't caught for. Task from Roll to Data 8. Research points. No strength. Okay. So, I guess the big question is how many Pokemon are actually in this game altogether. So we can catch a Togepi at some point. Um, I guess. Shall I ask you another call? Then specimens, specimens go up, you put being spotted. Oh, nice, okay. So there's real research tasks, there's sub-quests. And then this is gonna be, we're gonna be here a while doing all this. Okay. Right. Interest. Great. I've read this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research. As a survey call member, I expect there's more to that. Um, I'd be able to have to explain to you more about this research tasks I can use your assistance with. Come join me at the field camp, field lens camp, whenever you're ready, my good space cadet. Going to work on research tasks. Let's activate guy. I think we're probably gonna go do that next unless um we're using subquest comes up. And as if by magic. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the field lens camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? 
I'm sending guards, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. If you have something to ask, you will have a request icon to lay above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Okay, what do you want? Hey, so this is a program called Wormpole. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said this phenomenon is called evolution. A white Pokemon. Some Pokemon undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you can always select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. Okay, so that doesn't happen automatically now. Interesting. Cool. And so I decided I wanted to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the survey corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a warden it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. This one, Wurmple can evolve. So, does he want like a, um, uh, Peter Fly or a Dust Ox, I wonder? Those ears. Hmm, I can't quite recall them. No chink's ears has odd markings on the insides, but what are they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, will you show it to me? I've got to see one more night. Please, I can't remember what the life me or what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Shinx ears look like. Well, how do we... Got one of those Shinx to show me? I sure as Shinx do. Alrighty, let's have a pick at those round ears. <laughs> That's it. It does have the cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. I can't hear what a relief this is. I feel like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and my bones are fought. Alright. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Heading out to the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Right, so let's get to it, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokédex for you to reference any time. Research tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokédex. Each Pokémon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokédex, and then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokémon you've registered. When you focus on a wild Pokémon in the field using the yellow button, you can also instantly check the research tasks to your species by pressing the down button to open your Pokédex right at that page. Some Pokémon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Right. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species to carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, basically. That. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Say that again? What? Yeah, watch closely. Remember what I do so you can do it later. Huh. Ah. Cool. That beautiful flying bit of gymnastics what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security crew had to collect me when I got uh, when I got the business card with some chinks from the shop. Don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. I'll carry to learn some tips for catching out, carrying out research tasks. Now, let me show you some survey core wisdom. Focus on Pokemon ZL and then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many beads you've caught. That's right, catching them, catch just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, and then more and more. As it should be. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, Remember, to remember the captain switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready a Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Right. 
So, I'm gonna check how many heavy assessments you've caught, number defeated, number of times different forms you've attained, number you've involved. Let's go to the body of the bog of the village. So, I guess that's something that's gonna happen later. And then, why is dodge? Yep. And then, if we want to X, we. Okay. Neat. Um, and then we're going to try battling this one, I think. Okay, we change focus that way. I'm not actually hoping to fight the other one, but whatever. Um, quick attack. I'll buy the specific safety using rubber arms. Okay, um... Let's see some of these other options, so start... Please fix the last music. Please damage your, damage your to fixation last, but any damage dealt to fixate to Pokemon's also increase. Okay, that's not great with rollout being used. Um, can we swap out... Um, actually, let's swap to a Pokeball and use that. Yeah, I'm still getting the hang of this new catching system. It's it's one of those it's similar but different situations that Okay. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on the Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just said I'll then down. Try checking your task for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch the Spadali without being spotted, right? For that task, try to catch them while hiding in some tall grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Some catch I'll come catch up when you finish the tasks. Okay. So it's B to crouch. Okay, let's check some of the research tasks. Got about being spotted. We need to do one. Okay. We need to swap to. Okay. Is that gonna work? Nice. I think we need to catch another one for our... Right, let's check the research notes here. Cool. Alright, Harry, what have you got next for me? Whoa, she just completely glitched out there. That was weird. I feel there should be some more music or something playing here. Maybe there isn't, it's just really quiet and I can't really hear it. It's quite nice. Oh, someone wanted a worm pool, didn't they? Um, let's see if we can catch that without being spotted. Neat. Hmm. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Boizel. It's got an aggressive disposition.
That means it'll try and hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Boizel's water type, so that's going to be, um... Dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edge of the screen turns red. Damage goes away over time, but you can't begin to recover until if you're still being targeted by wild Pokemon. If you take further damages, damage after the edge of the screen has turned red, you'll recover on the blackout. Speaking of which, your research tasks for Boizel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. Black what? That's right, it's on task to battling. Now I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of Boizel's research tasks, then come talk to me. Right, so... It's quiet. Okay, he's... That's the question. You need to see it use Aqua Jet. And we need to either catch or defeat it. Right, um... Starly, you're up. Oh, that was not good. Is there any real purpose running around? I guess apart from maybe to leave the battle. So that should... Oops, sorry. Uh, no news, man. Um, did we get shot moves? Yes, yeah, so we need to fight one and make it see aqua, use aqua jet. So we've got to find another one now. What's, um, what the heck is this? Some mineral deposits here. I guess we can go back and talk to Akari. I guess I don't need to do that bit, but I did. Oh man, sorry. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Yeah, a little reward to keep keep up, keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Neat. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel coffers whenever and wherever you like. However, unlike a workbench, you're only, you're only able to use the materials you have in your satchel. You're able to craft any more than your satchel can hold. Hmm. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Right, here's just two versions too. So it's going to be a real balancing up with supplies when we go out into the field. Let's be crafting potions from scratch. Grab materials when on and when medicine leak. If you're a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using the materials you have in your satchel. As long as you've got an apricot ap 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 and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. So, where do we get tumble stones then? Or with Norenberry and a medicinal leak, you can make a potion. So do kill your Pokemon. That'll go to your research. Recovery your Pokedex will tell how if there are any tasks you've finished and can report. Tasks on reported data 17. So. I don't think there's anything we can report right now. Maybe. Whatever. Please go back to first level to once you got some research tasks good and done. Um So we have caught one. Caught one without being spotted. Let's just go back to Lavington and see what he says of where we are with 
there's anything else he wants us to do. Hang on, what's that? Um, can we climb this? I don't think we can. Huh, actually, yeah, we can. Interesting. Cool. Well, her, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. It seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. If you receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching species for the first time. So that's how currency is going to work. Interesting. Okay, cool. On that note, let me check the research task you can do thus far. Check the Pokemon caught, different species caught, caught the Pokemon at the same time, caught the back strike. 1503 Pokemon. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. Well, that data Pokedex is new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise the Pokemon's entry level to 10, and that entry will be considered complete, and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information you've held about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you earn a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. So that's the game, and that's what we're going to have to do, isn't it? So, number court, number of units, number using quick attack. So we've completed that. Research has completed. Ah, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research to really go up rank. I recommend you work your way through the Bay Deeps and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Okay. Well, let's um, heal Starly and Shink. Can we put the other Bidoof, other Bidoofs, in the item store? Because is there a thing we can do with that? Because. Let's see if we can finish um, the start the Bidoof stuff first. Um, so, Jesus, a lot. So we haven't defeated any. So we just, let's do that at the very least. Um, and I don't know. Here. Oops. What makes a Pokemon a heavy specimen? Right, that might not have been the best idea. Right, so for Starly, what? Uh, so we should probably defeat one, at least a couple of those. Um, if we swap out for Shinx, because Shinx has an advantage. Oh, he's blown away. Need to be more stealth like. Uh, 
Um, let's check out some of the Pokedex goals for this. To using ground type moves. Time to get a bite. All right. One pull. And that's fine. I might catch a Togepi at some point, but it's probably not going to happen today. Let's go back to Lavender and see what he says, because the things come up now as if we can complete this task. But I might be wrong. I'm going to speak for a future report this time. Hmm. So, what you like to do now? Uh, let's return to the village. Right over this good court for escorting us. It'll be a nice, safe trip back to Super Life. We can also hand in the worm pool to that one guy. Um, uh, 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 this one guy, wasn't it? Won't be with Jeremy? Yes, I do. Do you want to give it this Pokemon? Yeah. You brought one. Let's see if you can zoom in a sec. That's a, that Pokemon is bigger than I expected it to be. It's only going to Wormpool right away. So we'll call him Squishy. Now, I've been told that Wormpool will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly. Actually, I've given him a, a, it's a name of that mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you think you like best? Beautisha, Beautifred, or Bugeen? Um, I don't know, let's just uh, make it random. Da, 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 not looking. Uh, yeah, I like Beautifred too. Guess that's a side then. I raised Beautifred for Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. I bet that evolves into a dust ox. I'm going to craft a dazzling honey. What does the style would look like? Is that new company fell from the sky? Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. Said every court must have got must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex. I expect they're working on right. Well, on your way, can you do me a favor? Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. But when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Oh, not that I have the not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you completed that. Could I technically once I complete it, okay, so it might not be for a while. Um, let's go talk to the cliff, yeah. A special parcel arrived with your name on it. You receive the modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift. These two are such high attack. Now, when they say modern, is that modern as in our time or modern as in the game's time? How's our Pokemon's help? Okay, we're all good. Um, so. I guess the big question is where do we want to go now? What do we want to do? Um, can we check? I guess those are fast travel points. Um, so I guess we kind of just got to go around and just defeat a bunch of Pokemon so we can get our research level up.
Ah, so that's how you switch your Pokemon, okay. Um, I want to see my Pokemon. Let's put you... Can we... Ah, okay, you press Y. Right, cool. No. Wait, just Ember so we can get some Cyndaquil's um, research reports up. And... I still want to defeat one. I think we need to defeat, do that just to get... Cause... I do was burnt. His roll out. Okay. Maybe looking around. Right, so I just got a new move. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Check the research report here. Um, and defeated. Uh, we want to switch to Shinx. So he's keeping his guard upside right. Oh. What a jerk. Um, hello. Let's keep this guard up. Let's keep this guard up, by the way. Oh, heck. Oh, we'll get some more berries. I think our focus is just going to be battling for a bit. I'm hesitant to use Thunder Shock because I don't think that will actually. I mean, let me see how much damage anyway. But it is weird that. I don't know, I feel like a level 2 shouldn't have done that as much damage as it did. As it did. Task and report to data, 6. Use quick attack. Let's go fight another one more. Bidoof. And. Let's swap out and be sorry. Let's quick attack. Right. 
let's go report what we've done so far. Um, it's not much, but it might boost us over the, the limit what we're going to do. This is going to be quite a slow-paced game, I think, so it's going to be quite a, um, be a bit of a chill stream from here on out. So she wants to still try and get to grips with what we're actually kind of doing in the game and what the game is. Because it's a very different feeling game to all the other Pokemon games. It does feel very open ended and not like it has. It's kind of, kind of just going anywhere at the moment. I see your Pokemon research coming nicely. May I record your findings? Yes. Hmm, I see mostly made out data. Pokemon gets new data. Nice. So Shinticle's complete. Looks level 6. Level 9. Back. Oh, so close to next level, uh, next rank. Right, so, let's go back here again. Let's just try and defeat some more we do from Starly, I guess. Maybe if we can find some worm from Boizel. Be good, to, maybe. It, um, swap out. I feel like they should be doing more damage than it actually is. I don't know why. It's not like Tim Clive's big advantage, but I think it's just got a level difference. I wonder how different the actual like catching mechanics are in this game. Catching, fighting, battling, you know, the the classic Pokemon mechanics, I wonder how different they are. I tend to hang around here. Let's just explore a bit. Oh, there's some Shinx. I'm sure there are any other Pokemon that are wandering around this area. Some more Shinx. That way is obviously um Well, looks like we're gonna be fighting. She's looking around. Some level ups, which is cool. Oh, is the um Flower Gardens? Looks like it's getting darker, so I wonder if that there is going to be a daylight cycle. Which I I don't know why I kind of didn't expect there to be one. I'm not sure why. I think genuinely can't remember a Sword and Shield had a daylight cycle. I think it did, but I think it only appeared in the post game. Let's, um, let's go fight this guy. Actually, we should probably swap it. Oh, looks like. Okay, so you can fight it. That's. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I wonder how you swap targets. Um, yeah, let's keep you in. Research. Last one for today's 
probably turn in and get X rank, but I kind of want to stick around for it to turn night, see if anything changes, if there's any new Pokemon that show up. I should swap out. I actually meant to swap it to Starly, but... Okay. Probably catch another one actually, because we gave away the one we had before. And we're probably gonna need a couple because we're gonna have to um evolve them at some point. Come back. And if we catch another one. We can't go on the water right now. Hmm, that was actually shallow enough to cross the pond. Whoa. Oh, shit. Look at that Snorlax. Whoa. That does not look friendly. Should we try and catch him? I'm going to try and catch him. Yeah, that didn't work, Hunter, but... Uh oh. Oh, it's not a force, but okay, we are, we are getting out of here. That is, uh, that is not gonna work. <laughs> it's very, um... It's very, uh, Xenoblade, where they have, like, really high-powered enemies all over the map that can kill you really quickly if you're not careful. Um, we're not going to want to use Starly against him. How was that? Uh, roll out. It's ground, isn't it? So that should be... Cool, cool. Oh, so it's a 2v1. So how do we... So Z out, no. Okay. I might have to, if there's an option available to make these battles go a bit faster, I might have to do it, because it feels like this should be faster. Oh, is that like, there was like a turn order thing. I think you got this. Right, that's, uh... Potion up that Bidoof, and Shinx, and Cinders. It might be worth using Wurmple to fight actually, because then he'll evolve at level 10. But how long is it going to take us to reach level 10 at this rate? That's my kind of big question. What the hell is that in the background? Oh, it's a Drifflim. Level 3. Okay. Um, we're going to go for that. Can we try and catch it? 
on its own at the moment. Nope. Okay. And it's also looking like it's going to fight. Um, yep. Uh, it is... We caught it. It's literally charging at us. I don't know how we caught it unaware. But... Also, it can attack twice because it's... Yeah, I think that would be the case. Um, actually, let's switch. So that's a more fair fight, I think. Oh, interesting. So if we use Quick Attack, we, but I don't know if Quick Attack will work. Huh. Now we're going to try using a Pokeball here, because I... Th I'm saying that from the shock would take it out. And I think of that. There you go. Oh, there's kind of a little bit of a nice little tune playing. I should turn this up. That's probably a remix of something else from DP, I'm guessing. Um... He's got our sights. We got the fights. It's fine. Wait, are we caught up in the black? Oh, we should probably go away. I wonder if we can take damage in the fights as well. attack us. Let's go on the map, see if we're... I don't think we can get... No, that's like, we can't get to that other area. Um, can we go over to Horseshoe Plains? So what's down there. Maybe there'll be like a Ponyta or something. I see some fire light. Oh, it's just just a bridge. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't you pass unless you're a first star recruit? Then you'll probably be alright. I mean, I'm basically a first star recruit at this point, right? I just haven't handed in the data to do so. Every Pokemon smashing smacking rocks for you. If I turn the side. Okay, so that's what those are. That's gonna be really helpful. Um Air Boys all. Oh, actually she's Next fight we use with um, Shinx, she's bite. I'm just really enjoying just wandering around this place. It is very... Xenoblade or Zelda Rob. 
the big open world in your favorite big open world game yet. But like the Pokemon stuff is done really well. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Um, the Wormpole. I hope there's some other Pokemon around here so we can even can catch. What's that? Vivi choke. We can't cross the river because it's going to be too deep. Oh, okay. Nope, it is too deep. Well, we'll show my adventure ended there because we drowned. Okay, so there's a pony to over here that's I doubt we'll be able to catch it unaware, but we're gonna try. Maybe there's a good chance to use No, I don't want the Bidoof. <laughs> no. You're going the wrong way. No. That didn't work. Oh. Oh man. There's a Rapidash. Just... Is that an evil eyed? Yeah. What level is that? I know we're not going to catch it, but level 40, okay, let's, uh, let's just subtly just get out of here. Maybe he won't spot us. Or notice that we threw a berry at one of his children. Move mastered. And it's a heavy. So, what's the difference between a heavy specimen and a regular one? Ah, okay, so Wormble can evolve now. So, how will we. Let's find out how we do that. Because it did say. <laughs> no. Neat. Or is that so? So we're going to Wormpole and then we're going to go to Evolve. Oh wait, some more time. Well, but ready to evolve. Do it. Whoa, that's hardcore. Your Wimple evolved into Silcoon. So you can got the idea for a new move. And that move was Iron Defense. 
So does Silcoon evolve into Beautiful Eye or Dastox? I can't remember. I think that's Beautiful Eye, right? Because Cascoon is slightly purpley. Um, and we can't. I'm going to call it during daylight hours, whatever. Yeah, I think we're ready to hand in this report and probably rank up. At this point. Um, do we want to call it there or do we play a bit longer? I think we can play a bit longer. So, so you've got five Pokemon. Can you report your part findings? Sure. Let's see if that's no star ember. One quart, different places quart, we want to hit that strike. Oh, we just made some observations. Most illuminating. Nice. Right, so Shinx has done research wise. Uh, Rumble's nearly done. Baidoof is there. <laughs> so, does that not just automatically tip you over and then tip up the ranks? So, back to the Virgin Report, we can use Captain Saline. It's time you made yourself a star. Let Kevin Sylvie know you've earned enough Pokemon research points to move up to the next rank. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Um, okay. Weird. Hmm, you have made progress. You seem to have earned yourself a star. With this, you are officially attended the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. So, so it's like there's 10 stars altogether. So I'm guessing the game ends when we reach 10 star rank. You can use you can now use heavy balls. Pokemon to level 20 will also obey your orders while being in battle. So this is the replacement for gym badges, basically. The rewards you earn for your server products will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you will need for crafting. You have obtained a recipe for crafting heavy balls. A recipe for crafting heavy balls from scratch. Required materials one Epicon, one black tumblestone. You have a recipe for crafting revives. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us if this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer when, it, prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving out the ra uh, moving out through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and if you did fall from the sky, people may be really more willing to escape you, uh, accept you. Whew. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank, of, a higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So it's basically it, my boy. I believe we jolly good twenty Jason's is in order. Congratulate well done learning your first star rank. Here to Milky tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we are very busy from now on between our survey call duty and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you ever taken on that request from Beauregard? Yes I have. 
People of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arrive, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people ask ask for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the Black Ball they keep in my lab. Speaking of which, when you originally approach your request with the Akari, what's that about? Uh, about that, I was thinking maybe Space Cat could handle it for me. I was told it required a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah uh, yes, that request came from Mai, the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in history since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Cloud the space time with the still looming in the distance. Listen, do you have any time after this? This is what I could use your help with. Um. Alright. Thank you. I'll be waiting for, you, waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastor to change up your team. Nah, I think our entire Starly Baidu Wurmple team will suffice for whatever task this game has. Um, can we change our hair cut actually? Yeah, I'm help you with today. Hair styling, 500. No sword there, I thought, oh, let's give that a shot. Go on, step for two, put it inside for you. No idea, what sort of look would you like to go for? Um, I kind of wish you could see the options. I guess my well, hair's fairly brown, so it's. Oh, I guess you have to go that right. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it that way. And that, oh, that's eyebrows. Actually, screw it, let's just go. There, well done now. Why you look simply wonderful. How should I fetch a hat for you to wear? Uh, yeah, why not? Come back anytime, dear. Right, um. Is there anything we can buy from the... Is it something you want? So we'll for a price. If it's not here, by all means, craft it yourself. Got a lot of good deals on sale for you, stranger. Type of field provision that enhances the flavour of our foods. It is mixed with... That was a really weird pronunciation. That was not intentional. Um, how many do we have? Let's just get... 10. Alright, we have 30. Uh, yeah, let's switch our team actually. Akari is right, we should uh, optimize. Because I think a battle may be afoot. Pouch just has me in the Pokemon you catch. Collect them here for change up your party. Just Pokemon that leave them here for me? Um, wait, which one? It's still free. No, that's the. Uh, I was looking in the box and being that's my pal. I do for some reason. Um, move. Um, ghost and flying. We're gonna put in boys because war type is always good. Be a bit unleveled, but whatever. I can always do some grinding off stream at some point when we finish.
Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. Everything alright? See, I've got a part of my own, a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got work to work together to help complete Pokedex. Your partner? You have a Pokemon? Um Yeah. Yes, here's my partner, Pikachu. Biga. When we were attacked by those chinks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner introduced us to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I won't even show how to hold him, how to guide him in battle. Biga. When I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Mm, maybe Boys wasn't a good choice here. Survey Corps, Survey Corps Akari, challenge you to a battle. This should be fairly easy, right? Because it's just one Pokemon again. Oh, interesting. Okay. It says different styles. Hmm. That's an in that's a new wrinkle. I don't think this is the right time to try that out, but that is. I should screw it, let's do it. Pikachu. Game set. New York Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working on it, okay Pikachu? I do like Pikachu has just that kind of the like, mouse noise. It's very funny. It's they've been using the um the anime voice actor recently for Pikachu. It's really interesting they decided not to do that for this. G I guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Team Pikachu, Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, Fred said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference to how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. The Pokemon moves have types. The type matchup between the team and the Pokemon determines how much damage you take. Moves can be super effective, effective, not effective, really ineffective. Is this the first time in one of these games where they've actually had the proper matchup chart on screen? It sounds the type matchups. Fire type moves are strong against grass type Pokemon. Grass type Pokemon. Grass type moves are strong against water type Pokemon. Water type moves are strong against fire type Pokemon. So you're the one you recruit everyone talking about. Name Zisu. Steve Zisu. No, it's not. Uh, name Zisu. Captain of Security Corps. I see you've got some fight in you. I figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is, is a master of the ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can be used in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. You can deliver more damage, but after it will take long for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favourable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. And that's what we were... Looking at the battle of the map. Once your organism is master move, you can have it use a move knife for the HR style or strong style by pressing the L or R button, or the left or right button, which when selecting the battle move. Move battle. Change your Pokemon will actually master move and unlock the extra health simply by leveling up. Just style reduces the move power of the move, which is the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Strong style boosts the power of the move, lowers the user's action speed, and uses more PP than usual. Either way, 
PP is getting used. Yeah, PP. Um, oh, one more thing. If you want to use your Pokemon to powerful moves, just let me know. This is teaching to serve you well when you're up against our Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet mine. Remember, I mentioned that the that I could use your help with my request. I'm down to meet. I'm. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. She come as well. When she's ready, your Pokemon team and perhaps have them learn some new Eastern history if you like. Um. Yeah, let's see if we can train around your Pokemon and master that. Master to learn new moves. Um, new moves. Let's say. Cyndaquil. Ooh, you can learn Aerialets. That's interesting. Swift. Rest. What can Starly do? Swift on this print. That's. Oh. Sky Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice. Ice Fang could be interest could be a good one to have at the moment. Just to sort of for matchups and stuff. Uh, and boys will come learn. Rock Smash, Swift, Bulk Up, Rest. It's an interesting way of doing learning moves that aren't necessarily part of their move pool. I think they're not. Uh, and last moves, can we don't ever see the mastery. Right. We'll healed up. Let's go find my. I think I'll do the job. Wait, stay safe out there. I think we're going to do this request, and I think we're going to call it for the day. Boo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once battle starts. Hit the Pokemon behind to get a higher chance of success. Hit the wild Pokemon behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or a gain an advantage in starting battle. The secret technique is called a backstrike. Oh, we've kind of been doing those, but it's not we're realizing that that's how you do them. You're part of the survey call now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are. You might end up at meeting every last Pokemon here in history. You should know that I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Because you're probably going to be the final boss. It's real great mushroom recipe, see? Oh, you're that boy from the survey called from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lore recipe I invented. See, I call it the mushroom cake. I bought 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, Folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. We got to talk of the village. If people people see you making mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you need to get yourself the key when giving it to the recipe itself. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Uh, we'll get to that later. We gotta go across the bridge. And we'll see what's on the other side when we come to it. Let me through! There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't you pass unless you're first? Oh, you're alright. You should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble.
over here. My, this is basically that. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I want the importance of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I'm guessing she's supposed to be based on Maylene, maybe? I suppose you might not know what the woman is. If you're new to Sui. But such a short can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that may need to help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Kinda. That's good to hear. That security card of yours oh, certainly wasn't up to the task. And this here is my part of the Mutton Shacks. We are raised together like siblings. You better sit at my side by choice without needing any silly balls you, like you use. Watch and learn. <laughs> so what's the point of this? Um... So... Uh, I'm just thinking... Let's choose Ember. Munchak's just a normal, so maybe a fighting type. Oh, I've got bad. Okay. Cool. Right, he's gonna use... Roll out a lot, which isn't going to be great. That's uh, Whitney's Mill Tank all over again. Um, do quick attack now. Yeah, just that means we get to attack again. Uh, maybe we can swap out. Thinking what could work here. Still a bit under leveled, comparatively. Let's use Baidoof. Roll out if it's ground. <laughs> it's ground, right? Yeah. roll out and see which one dies first. Oh, crap. Oh, that rollout is going to be very fast. Very, not very fast, very powerful. So I'm hoping, yeah, if we go for, yeah, we'll, we've got a couple moves we can go first, so it should be fine. We don't want those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. I thought much thanks. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. Well, they have these. You people make all the kinds of things when you're crafting, don't you? They should prove to be useful materials. Five vivid chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You best the acted as one with them. Rather than the legendary hero of old, the one that we tell stories to of our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. See, I need some po someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon the Deer Track Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe. Like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Deer Track Heights? Your art plane's beeping. I think you have. It's showing where you've got to go, right, isn't it? My mind, there's some curious sort of map. Is that one of those Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? So they do seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You're too great out there. I know it. Seems like you're quite the asset to the survey corps, new one. Though... Before we continue, I must ask, do you know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? <laughs> I suppose it's to be accepted, expected. 
Let me sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It is said to have created the very universe over it, using its power over time's flow and the land of history was born in its process. But Sinnoh is the land, though, isn't it? It is by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive it. So is Sinnoh... Arceus? Maybe? I guess? We have the Diamond Clan descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venture Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world of long ago, hiding itself from our sight. The mighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are trusted. But there are still Pokémon here today in the history with a strong connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokémon that creates the Deuterac Heights is one of those on the few. It is directly descended from a Pokémon that is blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Alright. Sorry, in a bit of a rush. Gotta go save something. Catch them, spoke on the way back, I think. Or next time, or between streams, I don't know. Point is, we're not dealing with Geodudes now. Oh, so even your press decided to join us. Wait, what? <laughs> Phew, thank goodness. I got here just in time. As the Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on the chance to resolve an alpha now, could I? Suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deertrack Heights. It has arrived on come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Give you That's not that. That's only a trouble maker here to discover the piece of its racket. Sure. And that's what you're here for, basically that to drive the interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. On my word, what a large specimen. It's a wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not any big though. They're strong, they know many moves, they know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show you that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, space cadet. Size is a potent weapon in itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. Have some strong moves. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves and at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes go red are Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are of their species. They're to be able to catch. Well, it's a bug type, so. Fairy Cyndaquil should make short work of it. Right. Oh, it's like level 20, like. Right? Action speed in battle. Press the web button to the action order for all Pokemon currently battling. Choose the order in which the Pokemon take. It will take that action okay, based on action speed. The action speed of Pokemon is based on the speed stat, but can also be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with height speed may be at multiple times in a row. So it's level 20, to level 12. It's probably. Yikes. Um, I'll we'll probably kill him in one attack though, which is not great. Nice. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, I think we might be able to just brute force this. Um, 
Boise, you're out. Okay, so we get a couple of moves on him. I'm hoping he doesn't have a recovery rate. Also, that's really good for our um, Do this, this should sort them out. Oh, that cry is going to get very annoying very quickly. So, we do master the move. Cool, 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 cool. It's really a stamp of leggings. Neat. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Saying something best like saying someone best in alpha like that, it truly reminds you of the legendary hero of old. You best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Way I have no idea what that's supposed to be. What what in the world? Speaking of Stantma. It's the great word here. Hmm. It looks upon you of kindness, basically. That's... And I look at that a blank expression because I have no idea what the hell it's doing. <laughs> I'd say the great word here is taking a liking to you, but it's fortunate. He's a steam Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of his to be while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone rise on it. Well, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Where's Leventon? Space Cadet. Captain Sileen sent me. Said that once Space Cadet carried its request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by um, Adam and the commander, but it's still, it is, is it truly time for set up, more, set up more base camps like this? There's two reasons a land created by an almighty to know for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be able to be allowed to use this land. A great word you are taking liking space guy as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. A clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I will come to show you my appreciation with a proper word as soon as I can. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, We'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokédex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. And just like that. Here we have it. A new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set up from the village, you can ask to be escorted from this base camp to start your excursion stay directly from here. Having a base camp to start from always be a great help on our surveys. Yeah, that is interesting. Basically, really good start fast travel points. Nice work to everyone. What should we all head back to the Wallflower? Um, so what have we what have we done learned today? the old chum. Use your potato mocky, please. And make it free for free today as well. I can hear the jubilee theme in there. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzy cleaver from the rumours. It ended up walling up some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The mental core had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by half lightning, yes. I did hear he's been behaving erratically since then. Still, if it were for investigations and all doubt, the survey court will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching a thing of Pokemon, but I'm sure Space Cadet here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver feels so mighty, even half Pokemon don't compare to him. 
Now, now, you forget that strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we and the other we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. Since it's part of this work of ours as calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Good morning, Space Cadet. You should hurry to the command's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Alright, and I think we are going to be reporting to the commander's office and um, continue on with the story uh, next time on stream. I think we're going to call it that today. So yeah, this is um, this has been a good introduction to you. I'm quite enjoying this. Um, yeah, it's very different from what Pokemon has been, but also sort of similar. It's a weird balance, and I think they kind of do a good job, and it's going to take a while for me to get used to all the different mechanics now. Um, uh, how it differs from the main line, other mainline games, but yeah, it's interesting, and um, I am really interested to see where this plays out. And I'm guessing we're probably going to oh, guessing. I probably make the decision. Um, we're probably going to continue this on the stream at least a couple more times. I don't know if we'll play the whole game because it's uh, quite open ended, and um, so that's going to be interesting how we approach that going forward. But yeah, this game is really enjoyable actually. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. Um, so uh, I know that a lot of people are streaming this game at the moment because it just came out yesterday and it's a Pokemon game, so loads of people are excited and playing it. So I mean, if you hung around for a couple of minutes or the whole thing or whatever, thank you for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and as always, um, to be excellent to each other and uh, watch out for space-time rifts. General good practice there. See you next time. Bye.